Hello everybody, welcome to New Leaf Diaries. Today is Wednesday, June the 19th, I believe. And uh, welcome to the main video uh, for this episode. Now, we've got some updates. I got my big house. I got two lucky cats here, which is awesome. I got this nice big bird wing butterfly. A new, uh, a super mushroom, which is awesome. So, uh, it's a good thing I'm doing a main video today, because there is lots and lots and lots to be done. Uh, starting with uh, something over here. Uh, first of all, I want to see if our... Oh, I love this music. Our pear tree has sprouted pears yet. Nope. Okay, still, still quite many. But what I do want to do is plant more oranges from Chris's orange tree. So that's going to be something fun to do right now. Let's give me back my shovel. Did I get any perfect oranges? Orange, orange, orange. Nope. I'm going to be start, uh, or I'm going to start collecting pitfall seeds uh, for an online multiplayer thing I'm going to be planning to do with some friends and some people. So if you guys have suggestions for other Animal Crossing New Leaf um, content producers, uh, let me know if there's anyone specific who you'd like uh, me to try and get hold of and get on with, uh, or get on in the episode. Because uh, that would be cool. I want to get three other people to play around with some mini games. Like I said last time, I've got some really cool, unique ideas and hoping that other people will enjoy them. So let's plant another one up in this corner. A little bit offset. And we need one in the south of the town. Over here. Eventually want to get another bridge going across here. I think that would be quite handy. Handy dandy. Let's go over this way. Boop, boop, boop. Our public work project is going quite nicely. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, let's put one... Hmm... I really need an axe soon. One there. That's, that looks good. Right, so... Next on my hit list for today... Put that way. Let's head on over to Main Street. Uh, there was something I was gonna do in Main Street, but I forgot. Uh, hopefully... Oh yeah, I wanted to visit um, the Able Sisters. Ha ha! I haven't been there yet today. And it's been a while since I checked out what clothes they've got. I want to see if they've got anything new. Alrighty. Ooh! Ooh! Bang, bang, bang! That's cool. Is that an upgrade to... No, that's the lo uh, logo for Main Street. I wonder what that's going to be. Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. Anyway, let's go into Abel Sisters. How's it going? Welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace of the one and only Abel Sisters. Let's talk to Sable. Dot dot dot. Great. Sorry about that. She always gets like that whenever she's focused on something. Maybe I can convince Elvis to buy something. Uh, let's just talk. What's going on, Elvis? Well, that's it. So something really cool about this game, and something which I feel is awesome that Nintendo is supporting. Take a look over here. It's a skirt. Oh my, shopping for a present. Well, right here we have a blue grid skirt. Don't uh, don't you like the basic look? So great. Right, so that is uh, that many bells are interested. If you try it on and you are a guy, check it out. You wear a skirt. Oh, well, I guess it's okay to be a bit more adventurous sometimes. Ow, okay, this doesn't seem like a big deal, right? But I think it's pretty cool that Nintendo is, like, supporting uh, things like cross-dressing... And I mean, I've come across points in the game where <laughs> um, it's just shown that Nintendo is is aiming at a more mature audience with this game now. Um, nothing really special here. Uh, I do like that umbrella, but I won't get it. Ooh, what about these sunglasses? I got a pair like these. <laughs> oh dear, they do not suit. Nope. Nope, never mind. Alright. Let's head back out. See you later, Label. Label. I don't know if it's Label or Label. I'd think Label because it's the Able Sisters. Bang, bang, bang. Knock, knock, knock. Let's go into Nookling Junctions and get the fortune cookie for today. 
because I have not got that yet. Yeah. Hey Tommy, how's it going? So these these fortune cookies are really cool. Um, yep, we'll spend our uh, buy it with the play coins. Uh, I'm gonna have to go for more walks with this 3DS than with my other one. Let's eat the fortune cookie. Om nom nom. There's a fortune inside. Let's see. You only live once unless you have another guy. Oh, maybe I'll get the whoops. Maybe I'll get the one-up mushroom from this. Let's go along with my super mushroom. I got a lucky ticket. Okie dokie, Tommy. Here you go, fortune number 24. Let's see, number 24. Ah, congratulations, the prize. Ah, it's a one-up mushroom. That's awesome. Okie dokie. So, the last thing I want to do in this portion of today's video is head south to the beach because earlier on today I got uh, a little message from Isabel telling me that Tortima, the old mayor, is back in town and he is uh, he has retired onto his uh, oh hi Simon what's up bro uh, yes Tortima has retired to his resort island and I've got quite a handy, handily placed dock. It's just like right down this ramp. So I was told he would be here. Yes, hello. Oh, Dale, you came just like I hoped you would. Say now, what did you? Want, I want to see you about. Hmm. Oh, that's right. That's right. I was going to tell you about the tropical island. Ooh, the tropical island where I live <laughs> is a resort where summer is endless and people visit from all over the world. On the island, there are lots of rare things you just can't see any other place. You can relax on the beach or party hard by going on a tour. It's truly paradise. The boat that takes passengers to the island arrives at this dock. I already told the person in charge to start making stops in this town starting tomorrow. Well then, work really real hard as mayor. Let's meet up soon on the island. Hehe. <laughs> Thanks, Tordima. That's awesome. Um, it said something about other people, so maybe, maybe I can place them online there with some friends. Perhaps, Lee. Uh, okay, one more thing I've got to do in this video. Uh, how much cash have I got on me? 25. Alrighty. Let's go give some money to Lloyd. I left it at exactly 100,000 this morning. Uh, good evening. Care to contribute? Um, I've collected 20. Yeah, so no one's donated anymore. I'll cooperate. Or was it cooperate? I don't know. Let's put in 25,000. Boom! I will have my bridge soon. And this is my nice new orange tree. And over here we've got a new villager moving in. Someone called Tammy. I'm I'm inclined to believe this is a cat. But I am not sure. So, that is all I got for today's portion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like I said, leave in the comment section who you'd like me to try and get online with to do some multiplayer stuff. Uh, I've already spoken to Chris, aka Clefanotes, as well as the Fear of Time. But, um, you know, that's only two people. I wanna I wanna get lots of people. I know, of course, you can only have three people in your town at once. Oh, it's a dandelion puff. Are these still the same? Oops, I was wrong. Uh, of course, you can only have three people in your town at once, but um, of course, I've got more than one multiplayer thing planned. So, let me know who you guys want me to get. And also, let me know what you would like to see more of in these videos. Uh, I've had a great response to the series so far, and I thank you guys so much for your support. And I will see you next episode. Thursday, 20th of June, 2013. This morning, I noticed that the pear tree I planted outside of Flurry's house had fruit on it, so I thought it would be nice if I planted them around town a bit more, to try and spread the diversity of fruit in Moriwood. There are only three on the tree, so I made sure to divide them across town evenly, so that they'd be easier to find in a hurry if I ever needed to. Next, I went to greet our new neighbour, Tammy. She lived in the north of town, just above my house, right near the waterfall. And she said that she moved into town because of me. 
which is kind of flattering. And she seems a little bit stalky. Apparently she's heard I had great potential. No pressure there then. Later on in the evening I went to Main Street for a little bit of shopping and noticed a new shop had opened up. Unfortunately I got there too late. It had already closed for the day. So instead I went and donated a little bit of my spare cash to our Publix Works project for the suspension bridge. Suddenly, I remembered what Tortima, the old mayor, had said the previous day. The guy in charge of the boat would be at the dock to take people to the resort island. Upon reaching the dock, I discovered Cap'n in his boat. I was pretty excited to see him. Even though it cost a thousand bells for him to ferry me over to the island, his song was worth more than that. The people that run the resort island here seem pretty chilled and relaxed. I really envy Tortima for moving here. Maybe when I retire as mayor, I'll get to move here too. I headed out of the hut to gather some coconuts from the trees so I could grow them on the Moriwood beaches. I also came across a couple of bugs I hadn't discovered yet. I'd say that I'm becoming a pretty good bug catcher. Just let's not mention the bug which got away. As I talked to Leilani at the reception desk, she told me about tours on the island. It was free to enter, so I decided to go on an amateur free diving tour. Tortimer explained the rules to me. It seemed pretty easy to remember. Jump in the water and dive for whatever you can grab. But first, I wanted to gather some cherries so that I could grow them in Moriwood. After I picked up a few, I dove into the sea to see what I could get. Thank you. 
I found eight items in total. Tortima seemed impressed and gave me six medals. Not too shabby at all. When I got back to Moria Wood, it was raining. I planted the four coconuts from the resort island on the beach. Uh, one either side of the ramp of from the main town to create a little sort of feature of the ramp. And I planted another two coconut plants towards the east of the beach. After that, I went to plant cherries by my home and realised they weren't actually cherries, but were lychees instead. Still, at least Moriwood will have some more diverse fruit trees. Friday 21st of June 2013. Today is summer solstice, the longest day of the year. I chilled out on the resort island with my friends Chris, Wally and Nick. We played some tours. Nick gave me a spare pot of Pikmin he got from a fortune cookie and Wally even donated a thousand bells to help me fund the suspension bridge by my home. After my friends left Moriwood, I went to see Isabel in the plaza who gave me some ladder shades to celebrate the summer solstice. And she had put up a cutout to take photos in. I put on the ladder shades and posed at the cutout for a bit. Didn't seem like anyone wanted to take their photo with me though. I planted a couple of durian and banana trees around town, which Wally had given to myself and Nick. Hopefully these trees will make Moriwood explode with colour when the fruit is ripe. They gave me a few ideas for future plans for trees in town. Maybe I'll be able to get an axe from somewhere soon. It would come in handy, especially for chopping down trees. After I grabbed my stuff from the basket in the dock to take up to Blavers, I changed out of my Aloha shorts which I bought and wore on the island. Once in Main Street, I stopped by the new store. It was late again. Anyway, I continued on in Main Street and donated a few bugs and sea life which I had caught on the island to the Moriwood Museum. I didn't have much, but Blavis seemed as pleased as usual. <laughs> Saturday the 22nd of June 2013. I started off my day by checking my mail. Most of it was orders from the Happy Home Showcase, but a couple of letters were from residents. One letter was from when I went to see Elvis and he sent me his kitchen sink. I really don't have room for a sink. Pom Pom, however, had visited me a few days ago and said I should try hanging something on the wall, so she sent me a pendulum clock to try and hang up. I moved my birdwing butterfly out of the way and placed the clock above it. I really like how it looks. On my way to Main Street, I saw a new tent had been put up in the plaza. It was Red and his art gallery. Now this was the first time I've seen this guy in town and he seems kind of shifty. Still, I decided I would have a look around the pieces of art he was selling and decided to buy a painting to donate to the museum. He said I could only buy one, so I picked out the calm painting, and he told me that it would be mailed to me the next day, so there's something to look forward to in the mailbox tomorrow. Once I left the tent, I saw Elvis outside in the plaza, and he told me he wasn't too happy with the furniture in his house, and asked me if I had any furniture to give him, uh, to see what my taste in furniture was like. 
so I gave him his sink back. <laughs> In return, he gave me an outdoor bath. Not a bad deal, I think. I took the bath and some other furniture to retail to sell. And again, I went to see if the blue alpaca had woken up yet. He was still snoring. And Reese yelled at me again. Today, this time I actually made it to Main Street early to go into the new store. It's a garden shop run by a sloth called Leith. Luckily, I spotted straight away that he had an axe in stock, which is perfect as I've been wanting to change the trees around town recently. When I went to the Able Sister store, I talked to Sable as usual, and today she actually had a conversation with me. Kind of surprising as she's usually very busy and too busy to talk. I've also been falling over a lot today. I don't know why that is. Anyway, I headed into Nookling Junction to buy my daily fortune cookie. Uh, unfortunately, there wasn't any other furniture or tools that I was interested in today. So I cracked open the fortune cookie and I got the triple red shells. Pretty cool, huh? My collection of merchandise is growing quite fast now. 